Hi, today we're going to take a look at TCP IP version 4 subnet. Many of the certification exams that you sit for, including those from CompTIA, Microsoft, and Cisco, are going to ask you questions on subnetting with TCP IP version 4. So I want to show you a quick and easy way that you can get through those exam questions. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm starting the exam is to take that sheet that I get and to write along one side of it the 32 bits of a TCP IP version 4 address like you see here. What this allows me to do, it gives me a work area to use as I'm answering my questions. Another thing that I like to add to that are the bit values for at least one of the octets. So, if you recall, your highest order bit has a value of 128, then 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. You go ahead and write these down. You're not going to have to try and think about it as you're answering the questions. You'll have it there to refer to so you can get through that question quickly. So, let's take a look at a typical exam question that you might get. It will probably give you a Class C address. These are the most common that are still available. So, we'll take a look at one here. 220.56.10.0. Remember your TCP IP version 4. You know that the default subnet mask for this is going to be 255.255.255.0. How many networks does that give us? One. Now, typical exam question might ask you to say create all oh, five networks out of this address. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to start by using a very simple formula. 2 to the n minus 2. In this case, we're going to use n as the number of bits that we need to borrow from the host side of the address in order to create the additional five networks that we need out of this address. How does this work? Well, remember, we're using, we need five networks. So we need to figure out how many bits we have to borrow. So by using the formula 2 to the n minus 2, let's borrow one bit. 2 to the 1 gives us 2. Minus 2, 0, that's down. Now let's try borrowing 2 bits. 2 to the 2 is 4, minus 2 just leaves us 2. It's only 2 networks, still not enough. Let's try borrowing 3 bits. 2 to the 3 is 8, minus 2 gives us 6. That's perfect. We needed 5 networks, so we need to borrow 3 bits from the host side of the address in order to solve this question. So let's go back and look at our board where we wrote down those 4 octets with a default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, our first three octets are the network side of the address. Our last octet is the host side. That's where we need to borrow our bits from to solve this. So let's kind of focus in on that last octet there. So we're going to count over three bits from the left. Just draw a line there. Now, remember our bit values? 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. That third bit has a value of 32. That's our increment. I like to think of it as the magic number because that's going to help us solve another part of this question. Okay, so first things first. Let's get that new subnet mask. We're going to take the value of the three bits that we borrowed, 128, 64, 32, add them together. This is 224. Congratulations. You've just come up with a new subnet mask, 255.255.255.224. If this is a CompT exam, that's probably all you've got to do. You're on to the next question. But what if they've asked for the range of valid network addresses? Okay, we're going to use our increment, or magic number as I like to call it, and we're going to keep adding that. We're going to start at 0, add 32, and then continue to add 32 to the result. So. Let's take a look at this. We're going to do 0 and 32 gives us 32. 32 and 32 is 64. 64 and 32, 96. 96 and 32, 128. 128 and 32 gives us 160, and so on. We're going to keep going until we come to 224. And if you've added all this up and you don't get to 224, better check your math because it's also a little double check to make sure you've added everything correctly. All right, you're saying, i got a string of numbers. Now what do I do? We're going to take our, sub our TCP IP address that we were given, and we're going to fill in these numbers that we've just come up with. So we're going to take 220.56.10.0, 
our first range is going to end at 31. Second range, 220, 56, 10, 32. That range is going to end at 63, 64 to 95, like you see here. We've got our range of network addresses. But wait a minute, there's eight sets of numbers there. Remember our formula? 2 to the n minus 2. The reason we're subtracting 2 is, if you remember, from TCP IP version 4, when you've got all bits off, you have a network address. So, all bits on is broadcast. We can't use the first to the last address, so our usable range of network addresses is what you see here, this sixth set of addresses. Didn't take long, pretty painless. We've answered the question. We got our new subnet mask. We've got a range of usable network addresses. You're ready to go on to the next question. So just remember that formula. 2 to the n minus 2. That's going to get you through most of these certification exam questions where you're dealing with subnetting and TCP IP version 4 addresses. So just keep that formula in mind and good luck on that exam.